Hey there everybody, this is Potter Brony and welcome to my first blind reaction of Epic Rap Battles of History. Uh, this time is the Season 5 premiere of Epic Rap Battles of History, George R.R. R. Martin versus J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Uh, and I'm going to be rooting for Tolkien in this one because I am a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. I freaking love this book, love the movies. Uh, and I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I just couldn't get into Game of Thrones. Now, I know about it is like, shit's been spoiled, that type of stuff. I'm not... I've seen the first couple of episodes, and to be fair, uh, yeah, I just... I know that people love it, I know that people do it, like, but I'm, it, I'm just not going to be one to watch it. Uh, so, you know, hold your comments on that. Don't try to convince me, uh, it's freaking awesome, you should watch it. Because if my sister telling me, uh, you should definitely watch this over and over, didn't do it, then none of your comments are going to get me to watch it. Uh, so, let's just see what they have in store for us with the new Epic Rap Battle of History. And this is another thing, Epic Rap Battles of History, I'm not planning on making a I wasn't planning on making like a Epic Rap Battles of History a regular blind reaction thing, but this one came up and I just had to check it out. So it may not be all of them. It may be, I, I don't really know. I, and I've seen all of them. I do enjoy Epic Rap Battles of History, but I just don't really see myself doing a lot of the blind reactions to every, to every future one. Who knows? I guess we'll see how well this uh, reaction is received. So, let's just get it started. See here in three, two, one, and go. Look at that fat ass. Like I'm on the talk, but. Gather up your trolls and your soldier elves And your ants and your orcs and your wargs And your stings and dwarves and clam drains Cause there's a new literary lord in the ring My readers fall in love with every character I've written And I kill them And they're like, who oh, hit you? All your bad guys die and your good guys survive We can tell what's gonna happen a page in age five Tell your all seeing how to find some sex in your movie yeah. Ditch the goonie and cast a couple boobies There's edge your plots and not David the gnome Your hobbit hole heroes can't handle my throne Dragons, dwarves, horses, fortresses, magic, and souls. You have made my whole shit. You uninspired hack. You want to war, George? <laughs> Welcome to Shire Rock. In book sales, you got nothing to say. I'm number one and two. You're under 50 shades of gray. I got the house. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, sub Paul. You're a pirate. You even stole my arm. Oh, you <laughs> know the world is full of chance and anarchy. So, yes, it's true to life for characters that die randomly. But news flash. The genre's called fantasy. It's meant to be unrealistic. You myopic manager. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing on these beasts I'll cut you like my teeth on Beauty and the Beast You went too deep, Professor Tweed Pan We don't need the backstory On every fucking tree branch <laughs> my teeth in the trenches of the sun How's it going? You locked your Santa Claus ass through Vietnam And it's hard for me to take <laughs> criticism on clothes From a dude who sends a raven to say hi to a shaman <laughs> You fat jokes and whistle, you pipe smoke My show's the hottest thing on HBO I'm rock and roll, you're a Fair enough Lewis and I were just discussing how you and Jon Snow both know nothing. Because the backstory on my box <laughs> office is brilliant. Got my children making millions off our silver brilliance. And I'm more rock and roll than you ever been. Don't believe me? Ask Led Zeppelin. You can't reach this <laughs> So, who won? Ah, uh, that's the thing, is like, leave it up to the people, and that's always great. Uh, in my opinion, Tolkien took that one. Definitely had better, uh, better burns, better, uh, better jokes against, uh, against Martin there, against George there, and, uh, yeah, a lot of really good points being made there. I'm sure that if I was as familiar with uh, 
with Game of Thrones as I am with Lord of the Rings. Maybe some of the other stuff might have might have made more sense to me. Fair enough, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna give it, in my opinion, to uh, to Tolkien. So, uh, and I may be a little bit biased there, but hey, what are you gonna do? That's my opinion. So let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to. Sh be sure to show them your support. Uh, links in the description below to the original. And as always, hopefully you enjoyed that. Until next time, take care. Bye.